Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And And this this is the Insider Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. Beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. Hey, Kat, how you doing? We're both that exciting weekend, so. Sounds like it. What was your trip to Seattle like? I went up to see a a friend in Seattle and catch up. I actually never really spent time in the city before, so I got like a cool, like fun, like Seattle experience with the whole thing. I uh, got to go up the Space Needle because I just, I love me some ice, you know, how to do that that was a classic saw the gum wall saw the trolls all the good stuff did you go to fisherman's wharf uh yes i did Uh, actually there you go you gotta go there Mm -hmm. i lived there when i was younger i lived there and i went to a couple of the Mm -hmm. you know state things they had the the big expos they had the big expos Mm -hmm. so yeah Yeah, i know great time had a great time and then like the highlight for me because you know theater nerd that i am uh (laughs) i got to be a member of the audience for the first preview for the fifth avenue theaters production of spring awakening which is this awesome contemporary rock musical about like growing up and being a teenager in like 1890s germany weird premise but it's cool it's got some really sick tunes wow it was just the theater was absolutely gorgeous. The set was like insanely beautiful. Like the the closing number, like all of these like petals start dropping from the sky. These giant like wisteria branches like come down out of nowhere, and it's just such a beautiful, really cool. Story. Yeah, oh, yeah, wow. yeah. It was really awesome. See what a good budget will get you. <laughs> a good budget and insanely talented people absolutely, on stage. Yeah, absolutely. yeah, and it was an absolutely incredible experience. Oh, so awesome. I had a great time, and it, it sounds like you had a good opening weekend for yes, your musical down here and yep, down here in, yep, down yep. Here in Brookings. Yes, tell us about yeah. the play. Oh yeah, yeah, we had a play. Um, I gotta tell you, that when I was in Seattle when I was younger, the first play I ever went to was Superman in Seattle, and I was like eight years old, nine years old. Oh. I was just like, <laughs> it was great. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mind blown. And yes, mm-hmm. we had a great one, the Lady Pirate. So the Captain Bree, well, it was heck week last week, of course. So, oh, geez. That was Always a rough a line. I, uh, me and Junior, man, we had a long week together. But anyways, we uh, the play came off. You know, it was it was good. And Sunday we were sold out. And we had some great audiences out there and great response. And I'll tell you what, it was like each night, because from Friday to Sunday was two different, I mean, you know, we all were doing our thing and everything like that, but it's, I don't know, after the Saturday night, well, mm-hmm. as the nights go through on Sunday, we were all like feeling the good vibe. It was the afternoon too, you know, I think that makes a difference too instead of nighttime, yeah. but You're so me, tired, did, you're hyped. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and we, we were all hyped up and everybody, and it showed, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> and, and as I told you, we had a bunch of the group from Ellensburg Theater up there come down, so mm-hmm. no pressure, another theater group, so of mm-hmm. course, and they, you know, were very responsive to us and everything, and so of course we all responded back with, but I kicked it up and hammed it up a notch. <laughs> Let's mm-hmm. put it that way. I just had some fun with it. And it's like, actually developed my character a little bit more just because mm-hmm. of the, just going through the weekend, you know, and everything. And by Sunday, I was like, okay, I got this guy down for next weekend. All right. So, because we'll be doing it one more weekend here and everything. And it's like, uh, I'm glad this airs on Wednesday because I'm not too sure if there'll be tickets available when this thing airs. But yeah, I'll be talking about it. We'll get to that later on <laughs> and all that good stuff. But had a beautiful, that's what I did all weekend. Oh, no. Had a bodacious bazaar, too. I the was going to bodac- say, yeah. Yes, I got killed on, <laughs> yeah, no wonder I'm tired. Jeez, yeah, yeah. It's, Little, yeah. Yeah, I did the mm-hmm. show Friday night, mm-hmm. then had to get up early in the morning and get down there and get the bodacious bazaar going. A beautiful event. We had a bunch of vendors. Troy Spence came down and rocked out for us and everything like that. No. We had a pizza guy there that had little mini pizzas and stuff, so that was right. next to the beer garden. So, you know, Casey. it was just a little mini event, and it went just like it. It has the last few years that we've been doing it, and it's just wonderful. The first one was very successful, and I was very happy for it, and the town showed up. The fog, of course, came in in the morning, and it was like, going to say it was going to rain and everything. I was just waiting for a little drizzle or whatever. Mm-hmm. Nah, it burned off just like that. Like the time Troy too. started his music through that, it started burning off, and everything was beautiful, and the, and the people came out, you know, because it was beautiful mm-hmm. down there. Yeah, it was really nice, so... I got burnt, so yeah, <laughs> it was nice. I don't know, yeah, yeah. yeah so you got a little, little yeah. color in your cheeks right now. I, I forgot. Yeah, I was looking like the weather pirate at the play. That's for <laughs> sure. So, yeah, but that was my weekend. Well, that was it. And then this next weekend, at least I've got. I'm off the no events going on. Just doing the yeah. play. Yeah, I can relax a little bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. but I hope everybody out there had some fun and got out and had a good time. And uh, yeah, because we got plenty of coming up. And we're gonna be telling you all about it here in a minute. Mm-hmm. But first, I gotta thank. Oregon South Coast Fisherman, the Castaways, Just the Jeweler, and Oregon Coast VIP Marketing. 
for sponsoring the Insider Report. And if you'd like to sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows we got going on here at KCIW, you just go to kciw.org and you will be on your way. Yeah. All right, so let's get some music going on here. Yeah, let's start things off with the schedule at the Travel Organ Welcome Center. Music there starts at 2 p.m. On the 23rd, it's going to be Cisco on guitar. And then on the 29th, Danielle Duran and Nathan Stone, that's a vocalist and guitar duo. Yes, indeedy. And then Cisco is going to be playing on the 15th, 22nd, and the 29th at the Brigings Harbor Farmer's Market from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. On the 23rd, as I said, he'll be at the Travel Organ Welcome Center 2 to 3 and on the 26th, he'll be at the Checkco Activity Center from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Yep. And over at the Betty Green Event Center, that's at the Elk Valley Casino, music there starts at 8 p.m. On the 15th, it's Seaforth. On the 29th, a comedian, Lindsay Glazer. And then at the Warriors Bar and Grill, on the 14th and 15th, it's Hannah Pacinger. On the 21st and 22nd, Jesse Mead. And on the 28th and 29th, Steve Nelson. Yes, indeed. And then Bloodline on the 14th, they'll be at the Inateca, 8.30 to 10.30. And on the 22nd, they'll be at Oxenfree, 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. And then Mike Powell is playing on the 21st at Checo Brewing Co., running from 6 to 8. That's right. And Disturbing the Peace on the 21st, they'll be at the Inateca at 8 p.m. And P.A. and T-Roy are playing on the 14th at Misty Mountain Brewing from 6 to 8. Yep. And then Lon Goddard, he'll be back from bloody old England, I tell you. Uh, on the 21st, he'll be at Misty Mountain Brewing, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And 26th, he'll be at Coon Tai, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And just real quick, the PA and T-Roy, they will also be hosting our next Bodacious Bazaar in two weeks. They oh, will be fine. being the, the open mic host. Yes, and be performing for us. So that'll be good. It's going to be a good time. Mm-hmm. And then the Italian guys are playing on the 13th at Coon Tai from 6 to 8. Yep, and then the Mighty Steelheads on the 15th. It'll be a big daddy dance party at the Grange, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. And then on the 29th, it'll be at Port of Pints on 7.30 p.m. And then over at the Inateca in Crescent City on the 14th, Bloodline plays at 8.30. On the 15th, it's a karaoke night at 8 p.m. On the 21st, Disturbing the Peast is playing at 8. On the 22nd, Dumpster Puppies at 8 p.m. On the 28th, The Way Out's at 8. And then on the 29th, Stephanie Latore and the Reverbs will also be playing at 8. <laughs> Dumpster puppies. <laughs> That's what, yeah. <laughs> Summer concerts in Isaiah Park, they're featuring on the 19th, which is a Wednesday. They'll have Fortunate Gold at 6 p.m. And then on the 30th, they'll have Afro Blue Grass Band at 3 p.m. There in the park. Oh, fun. All right. So, Let's take a look at events for the Checo Library in Brookings, starting things off with their regular weekly events. At 11 a.m. on Tuesdays, it's story time. It features stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children. And then on Fridays at 4 p.m., they have Hora del Cuento. That's stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children, all in Spanish. And on Saturdays at 2 p.m. right now, there's a creative writing class going on with Blake Allwood. This is a free weekly class on the creative writing process. And then for some monthly events here and special events on the 11th and 25th, those are Tuesdays at 5 p.m., they have game nights at Checo Brewing Co. So this is an all-ages open game night featuring games from the Checo Library's board game collection. This is hosted by Checo Brewing Co. at their location on Railroad Street. You can try a game from the library or bring one of your favorites. This is a free and fun opportunity to meet and connect with other board game enthusiasts in your community. Again, game night happens every second and fourth Tuesday of the month at Checo Brewing. And then on the 18th at 6 p.m., they're going to be having a free movie night at the Redwood Theater. That's going to be a free showing of Marvel's Black Panther. The library is sponsoring a free screening of this Marvel film at the Redwood Theater in Brookings. Again, that's at 6 p.m. on the 18th. And then on the 19th, the library is going to be closed in observance of the Juneteenth federal holiday. And then on the 20th from 4 to 6 p.m., they're going to be hosting Gonsango Drumming. In celebration of Juneteenth, the library is featuring West African drumming presented by the Gonsango Troop based out of Seattle, Washington. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> the event includes a presentation on black history and notable black Oregonians delivered by Carolyn Acker of Coos Bay. And then we have some library book clubs coming up this month on June 12th, Wednesday at 4 o'clock. They've got Kids Book Club, and this is a monthly book club for elementary and early middle graders. And then on the 12th, again, Wednesday at 4 p.m., for adults, they have Freshly Written Book Club. This is a monthly book club geared towards adult fiction readers. And on the 13th at 5 o'clock, they have Club de Lectora en Español. This is a monthly book club for adults who read and speak Spanish. 
parents are welcome and invited to bring their children along. And then on the 20th at 5.30, they have Pub Grub Book Club hosted by Misty Mountain Brewing. This is a monthly book club for busy readers and fans of graphic novels, again, hosted by Misty Mountain Brewing on Checo Avenue. And all library-led programs and events are free to attend, whether or not you have a library card. For more information, you can visit checolibrary.org. You can follow them on Facebook for updates, or you can give them a call at 541-469-7738. I like that the library is doing that, reaching out and doing various businesses, local businesses. It's almost like doing an adult thing, too, you know, Mm -hmm. where you can have a beer and relax and do your thing and everything. That's that's really, I like that. outreach, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you guys are out (laughs) out there there and doing Mm -hmm. some stuff with the, I really Mm -hmm. dig that. I don't know whose Mm -hmm. idea it was, but. You were saying, great idea, girl. I should have figured. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Let's, it's let's a, bring it's... the books and the literature to the people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Boom. Hey, great idea, Kat. That was a good one. Yeah, yeah. Shoot. Yeah. Hey, the Checo Pelican Playhouse, located at 1240 Checo Avenue, is presenting the Lady Pirates of Captain Bree. Ha ha. Ah, very cool. This is so much fun. We got another weekend coming up here. It'll be the 14th, 15th, and 16th. Friday and Saturday, it's at 7.30 p.m. On Sunday, it's at 2 p.m. Gangway Pirates of the Caribbean, here comes the Lady Pirates of Captain Bree. When his crew jumps ship upon sighting the pirates in distance, Captain Jenminis is left with a makeshift crew of motley prisoners and a sailor who can't swim. To protect his wealthy passengers, the Prescotts, from an inevitable attack. As the Lady Pirates take over the defenseless Kayla May, you're in for swashbuckling musical comedy with a host of hysterical characters on deck and a spectacular Bill Frankwire score. Along with Captain Bree, hearty crew of mean and nasty mates, and a couple of new recruits in training who keep forgetting to be rough and tough, ha <laughs> ha, mm. you'll find the haughty Professor Bidwell and the pretentious Madam Prescott constantly battling for special treatment and respect. Ha! From the pirates, Samuel Prescott masquerading as a girl to avoid becoming shark bait, and Julia Prescott bursting with a desire to join the Lady Pirates, much to her aunt's dismay. And after the pirate sends Thomas the cabin boy out to sea with a ransom note demanding gold from the British in exchange for the Prescott's lives, they amuse themselves by auctioning off male prisoners to do their dirty work and showing Julia the ropes of pirating. But what is in store when Thomas returns with the British fleets, set on hanging the pirates for their deeds? Madame Prescott and Bidwell equally set on seeing Captain Jennings hang for his defenseless approach to the Lady Pirates. Both your cast and your audience will love the swashbuckling in it as the two captains work together to save their crews from the British. Tickets are 15 for adults and 7 for students. For info, you can call 541-469-1857. And this will be airing on Wednesday when you hear this, and I'm letting you know right now, uh, yeah, we sold out on Sunday, and everybody was on. Let's just say the tickets are going fast, so if you're going to get them for this, don't show up at the door expecting to get any tickets. I'm going to tell you, this is one of those productions i guess you know because yeah I, i'm trying to get them myself <laughs> hopefully i'll have some by this time for some friends of mine so anyways that's pretty cool it's a great play and uh, i've been having fun doing it so there we go yeah it's been a while 10 years since i've been yeah, on stage for grand out loud it's a nice for comeback yeah, yeah yeah absolutely well hey now it's time for quotes from famous people with cousin bruce yeah, hey, here are a few quotes from actress and screen bombshell marilyn monroe she was born uh, june 1st 1926 She says, give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world. And she goes, we are all of us stars and we deserve to twinkle. And then imperfection is beauty, madness is genius, and it's better to be absolutely ridiculous than absolutely boring. And last but not least, from the bombshell herself, Marilyn Monroe, what do I wear in bed? Why shall nail number five, of course. Hmm. (laughs) <laughs> hope you enjoyed this mm-hmm. week's quotes from Marilyn Monroe with Cousin Bruce till next week have a great one I know she was a Chanel number no. 5 kind yeah, of gal that's my, yeah. that's my enough choice that's awesome very, very cool. fun very nice yeah. nice alright I love it hey DNATL Pride 2024 Wild About Pride The Nature of Belonging is going to be happening on the 15th of June in Crescent City at 664 H Street. That's the Methodist Church. It's going to kick off with a 245 parade and pet show contest. Then from 3 to 6 p.m., they're going to have a festival with vendors, fun activities. And then from 6 to 9 p.m., they're going to have some performances, including music, dancing, and, of course, more fun. 
The mission of the DNATL Pride event is to strengthen and unite queer community and allies through public events, social gatherings, and educational opportunities. This event seeks to improve the lives of everyone by increasing visibility of the queer community and making Del Norte a safer place for all. And to be a sponsor, a vendor, a performer, or help out in other ways, it's getting close, but you can download an application form at dnlgbtq.org. Again, that's dnlgbtq.org. And that's the Del Norte LGBTQ Resource Project. And you can also send them an email at dnlgbtq at gmail.com. Yes, indeed. Mm-hmm. Hey, well, I got it on my mind, too. I was going to ask you, were you able to fill all the parts for the Sylvia? Oh, yeah. Um, okay, because yeah. I was going to say, if you didn't, I was going to say, yeah. Jason's having a couple more auditions that couldn't make the event itself, so he's still, like, screening a few people. But So it's not fully casted yet, but we've had people turn out, and we're going to be able to cast it. So yeah. I would just yeah. want to make sure if you want to you put want, a plug out there. If yeah. somebody wants one last chance, you can reach out to Jason. That's 541-251-0640, or send him an email at jasonliddell91 at gmail.com. He's also on Facebook. So, yeah, we've had Sylvia auditions, but we're still considering some roles and he's still doing some remote auditions. So, yeah, if you still want a shot at that, reach out to him in the next week or so. Again, this play isn't going to start rehearsing until the fall. We're just getting these parts filled so people can start learning their lines over the summer. Yeah, very Mm -hmm. cool. Give you a head up. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Hey, so Elk Valley Casino is presenting Seaforth, duo from Australia, as we said earlier, on the 15th, 8 p.m. A night of country pop music live at Elk Valley Casino. Seaforth will perform their songs like Love That, Everything Falls for You, and Get the Girl, as well as tracks from their latest EP, What I Get for Loving You. Tickets are on sale now in person at the Points Club booth or online and on the day of the event. Doors open at 7 p.m. with the show starting at 8 p.m. Must be 21 or older to attend. All right. And we have some events here for Juneteenth, the family reunion. On Tuesday, June 18th from 6 to 8.30 p.m., we mentioned it earlier, there's going to be a free screening of the Black Panther at Redwood Theater. That's at 621 Checo Avenue in Brookings. The library's a sponsor for that. And then on Thursday, June 20th from 4 to 6, again, the library being a location and sponsor for that, They're going to have African Drumming with Gonsango Music and Dance Company and also a Black Organ Pioneers presentation by Carolyn Acker. Again, that's at the Checo Library at 405 Alder Street in Brookings. And for more information about the Juneteenth celebration and the South Coast Equity Coalition, which is one of the leaders on this project, you can visit southcoastequity.org. Yeah, and if you have a copy of The Insider of Southern Oregon, you can get the calendar in there, too, the full thing on there for you. So, yeah, either way, there's all kinds of ways to check out what's going on. The Juneteenth, there you go. Yeah. Is that fairly a new? Yeah, that's um, the holiday's only a few years old. It yeah. is, isn't mm-hmm. it? Okay, yeah. so I remember when it first came out. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay, we were talking about it. On yep. here. Okay, it brand was... new federal holiday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, federal holiday. And there more, you... more holidays. Yeah, there you go. Holidays, yeah. Sure. yeah. Well, what if they came out with the cards yet? Hallmark's got to get on there. Got, I'm sure it's getting right on <laughs> they that. They're the not already. Yeah. They've, they've started. <laughs> yeah, they'll get on it. Yeah. Hey, uh, Brookings Harbor Community Helpers is presenting Join the Fiesta. This is happening on the 24th from noon to 2 at 539 Hemlock Street in Brookings. The public is invited to come down for free food, free drinks, free entertainment. What more can you ask for? Information on local resources, play games, and win prizes. So some good fun going on there at the Brookings Harbor Community Helpers. Give them back. I love it. All right. There's a barefoot beach boogie happening at Crescent Beach. That's at Endert's Beach Road in Crescent City. This is going to be happening at the end of the month on the 26th at 11 a.m., Get ready to kick off your shoes, feel the sand between your toes, and dance the day away at their Barefoot Beach Boogie event. Experience nature and boogie to some positive beats with a park ranger and people in the community of all ages and abilities. They will also practice the dance move they made up called the Sand Dollar Shuffle. All <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right, baby. Everyone will be invited to move their bodies freely to the music at their own ability. Scarves, poi spinning, ribbon wands, hula hoops, and other toys will be available to encourage movement. You can be inspired by bubbles, be silly, have fun, make new friends, and learn something new. An interpretive park ranger will teach you about some cool stuff when they aren't too busy dancing. Light refreshments will be provided to recharge your dancing energy. You can stay hydrated and join the fresh flavored water taste test. Rethink your drink activity with flavored water ideas for all palates from sweet and tangy and herbal to tropical, which includes smoothie bike for watermelon cooler. Participants can stop at the hydration station and take a ride 
through water flavors and vote on their favorites. So whether you're a seasoned dancer or just looking to groove to some tunes, this event is for everyone. Grab your friends, pack a picnic, and get ready to boogie down. Yeah, there you go. (laughs) Let's do this. (laughs) All right. (laughs) And now it's time for a bit of Weird History with Bushwhacker Bruce. Right, good day, cat. Good day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's Bit of Weird History for your knowledge pleasure. Did you know an asteroid exploded on Earth but didn't leave a crater? It's true. And here's the story. About 115 years ago, the largest asteroid impact in recorded history struck on a warm summer morning in Siberia, Russia. Well, now, Asteroid Day is observed each year on June 30th on the anniversary of what's now known as the Tunguska Explosion. The explosion happened over the sparsely populated northern forest land above the Tunguska River. Incredibly, the blast released enough energy to kill reindeer and flatten an estimated 80 million trees over an area of 830 square miles. Witnesses reported seeing a fireball, a bluish light nearly as bright as the sun, moving across the sky. Well, in addition, a flash and a sound familiar to artillery fired was said to follow. Moreover, a powerful shockwave broke windows hundreds of miles away and knocked people off their feet. A mysterious aspect of the Tunguska event was that, surprisingly, no one ever found a crater. But even without a crater, science has still categorized it as an impact event. They now believe that the incoming object never struck Earth, but instead it exploded in the atmosphere, causing what's known as an airburst. This type of atmospheric explosion was still enough to cause massive damage to the forest in the region. Scientists determined that the object was most likely a stony asteroid approximately the size of a 25-story building. An asteroid was traveling at a speed of about 33,000 miles per hour and exploded three to six miles above the Earth's surface. The Tunguska explosion was equal to about four megatons of TNT. Well, as a result of no evidence being ever found, there's been some concocted wild stories, theories to explain the Tunguska event. People claim a stricken alien spaceship caused the destruction, while others pointed to a mini black hole or a particle of antimatter. Well, the truth is just as interesting and perhaps more terrifying because it can happen again. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this week's bit of history with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Till next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. He's on a bit of a dark note this time. Yeah, right. it the bump, bump. It yeah I know. Anyway. It's like, where's the pun this time? Yeah, this well, you know, dark. it was like, because it can happen again. It's like, man, you know? Yeah. yeah. Right, right. Just Watch the skies. Just, well, for that movie, watch the skies. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was well, from The Thing. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the original one back in the day. That was what they, they ended it with. Well, if you want a chance to party before the end of the world inevitably reaches us, yes. Three Penny Theater Co. is presenting a summer cabaret fundraiser <laughs> on the 29th of June. The summer cabaret features an evening of live performances from their finest array of local actors, dancers, singers, stand-up comedians, and musicians from Three Penny Theater Co., all complemented by a bottomless seafood dinner from the chefs at the Checo Activity Center. Your ticket includes all-you-can-eat fish and chips, soup and salad, lemon bar dessert, as well as a beverage of your choice, beer, wine, or soda. You're also invited to join them at the No Host Bar for expanded drink options and signature cocktails. Doors will open and dinner services begin at 5.30. Entertainment starts at 6 p.m. And all proceeds from this event directly benefit the Checo Activity Center, home to Brookings Harbor's Meals on Wheels program, as well as Three Penny Theater Co. and the newest live theater troupe on the Wild Rivers Coast. Advanced tickets are also for sale in person Monday through Friday at the Checo Activity Center. That's at 550 Checo Lane in Brookings. You can also get them online at threepennytheater.com. And hey, they'll see you at the show. That's at home to Brookings Harbor Meals on Wheels yeah. as well as Three Penny Theater. Oh, oh okay. yeah. You guys mm-hmm. got a base there too then, huh? I guess we got some performance bases there. <laughs> yeah, 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 cool. Right on. You guys will be performing there there in the future, I, I take it. It looks like we'll be doing some stuff with them in the future, yeah. That's great. Yeah. Great. Uh-huh. Just getting out there and getting yourself doing it. I know, right? right. right. Yep. I'm mm-hmm. loving it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Hey, Curry Public Library, located at 94341 3rd Street in Gold Beach, is presenting Memory Cafe Curry. Memory Cafe Curry will meet the third Wednesday of every month from 1030 a.m. to 12 p.m. at Curry Public Library in Gold Beach. To register for the program, you can email them at memorycafe at cplib.net or call 541-247-7246. 
A memory cafe is an informal social gathering for older adults living with memory loss and their care partners. Care partners may include, but are not limited to spouses, siblings, children, or friends whose social lives are often just as affected as their loved ones. Memory cafes are designed to be casual, stress-free gathering to allow care partners the opportunity to relax and socialize with others in their same situation. Memory Cafe Curry will be staffed by a qualified social service provider, library staff, and volunteers. All right. And then KCIW is having an ongoing soapbox series. So KCIW is giving folks a chance to speak their mind on a show called the KCIW Soapbox. And basically, KCIW offers two minutes of airtime to anyone who has something to say. There are a few ground rules. There's no cussing, no slandering, no advertising. But other than that, folks can share what's on their mind, anything that's on their mind. And the studio is open every Wednesday from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. for people to come in and record. Yeah, there you go. We got time for a little bit more here. We got game night at the Whimsical Griffin, located at 615 Checo Avenue, right by the Redwood Theater. Tuesdays and Fridays, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, board games, and more. All right. And speaking of Meals on Wheels, they are looking for volunteers. They're looking for volunteer drivers in particular. This program delivers about 75 hot meals daily to folks who can't get to the Checo Activity Center for the daily meals that they serve there. They have both a Harbor Route and a Brookings Route. And this is a great opportunity for anyone out there who wants to give back to the community and be a friendly face and deliver a hot meal in kindness to local seniors. Whether you're interested in volunteering for just a day, a week, or a month, all volunteers are welcome. And if you want to get involved with that, you can contact Debbie at 714-423-9797. Yeah, how is that going there since you're doing it? Are they getting some good volunteers uh, coming on board now? You know, I haven't had a recent update from them. Okay. I just know it's a constant, like, consultation. Some people can only do it for, like, a month. Some people can only do it while they're between jobs. Some people, they can, yeah, only yeah. commit to so much. So, so yeah, no, it's yeah. just, like, a constant rotation thing. Good like, thing we got a nice volunteer base in this yeah, town, that's absolutely. for sure. That's great. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeedy. Well, all right. Well, you know, we better get going. Hey, we had fun on this one there. I mean, we, we have fun all the time, but this was a fun show. I mean, we both had a great weekend. So I yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, hey, yeah, I'm all jazzed up for this next, you know. Yeah, I know, right? Well, you seem pretty know, talked. that theater, man. I'm all pumped up, ready to get on again, do my yeah. thing. Hey, see, I never got nervous back in the day. I'd never get nervous. What I did was I'd get antsy because I couldn't wait. Mm-hmm. For me to get to oh, to you get should on see perform, me before you know? a show starts. I'm yeah. like peeing off the walls and the ground, I'm like bing, 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 bing. <laughs> yeah, just like yeah. bouncing. Like yeah, let's go. No let's nervous. Go. It's cold. Mm-hmm. I just want to get out there, you know, mm-hmm. and have some fun. I literally yeah. start bouncing up and uh-huh. yeah, feels mm-hmm. good. Feels mm-hmm. good. Yes, mm-hmm. good to be back. <laughs> well, it's time to close out this week's show. Before we go, I'd like to give a shout out to our fearless producers Ray and Tom for all their great work making us look and sound good on the radio. I want to thank you all for tuning in to this week's Insider Report. And please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows that they have to offer. You can listen to the fantastic show podcasts, including the Insider Report, at kciw.org. And while you're there, you can check out the live streaming as well. Hey, until next week, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. We are signing off, so please support local businesses, keep it real, and spread the love and the peace every chance you get. And hey, we'll, we'll see, see you out there. there. BAM! Music credits for the preceding show go to kciw.org slash credits.